Okay, I want to go over two problems related to Des Argues theorem. The first one is the dual of Des Argues theorem, at least a variation of it. So this was the problem. Well, that's a lot to read. So what I'm going to do is present this problem on the next few pages with a picture. So we have two triangles here that are perspective from a line. So we're going to fill out the bottom here in a little bit. But we have two triangles perspective from the line. And the two triangles that are perspective from a line are ABC and A prime, B prime, C prime. And let's check that. To be perspective from the line means that when we extend the edges, A, B, and A prime, B prime, they intersect at a certain point that we typically call P, but they intersect at Y here. And then if we look at A, C, and A prime, C prime, so there's A prime, C prime, A, C is here. They intersect at a point we usually call Q, but it's Z here. And then uh, we look at B, C, and B prime, C prime, and they intersect at a point that we usually call R, but we're calling X here. So these two triangles, A, B, C, and A prime, B prime, C prime, are perspective from the line going through Z, Y, and X because these three points, Z, Y, and X, are on the same line. And because they come from extending the sides of the triangles and looking at where the sides intersect. So we're given that their perspective from a line and we're trying to show the perspective from a point. So we extend A, A prime and B, B prime, and we look, call that point of intersection P, and what we'd like to know is if it's really perspective from this point P, that C, C prime uh, should go through P as well. The line through C and C prime should intersect at P. So let me make that a dashed line. We don't know that this line exists. And we can draw a line through C and C prime, but we don't know it goes through P like we're showing in this picture. So what we're trying to prove is that, that the line through C and C prime intersects at P as well. Then that would make these two triangles A, B, C, and A prime, B prime, C prime perspective from P. This is what we usually call X. Of course, now we, we label the letters here, but it should be the same. If I look at A, A prime, that goes through P, B, B prime goes through P, and B perspective from the point P, we need C and C prime to go through P. So the dual Des Arcs theorem says if it's perspective from the line, like it is, then it has to be perspective from a point. So that would mean that these three are on a line, but we're trying to prove that. So we're assuming that the, the these two triangles are perspective from a line and trying to prove the perspective from a point. So again, the way we're proving that is we're taking the point P where A, A prime and B, B prime intersect. And then we want to show that the line through C and C prime goes through P. And the claim here, what's at the bottom, is basically saying that we should be able to do this by using Des Argues theorem not with the triangles A, B, C, and A prime, B prime, C prime, but with two other triangles that are perspective from a point. Now, why would this even make some sense here? Well, we're trying to show that the line through C and C prime goes through P. Another way of saying that is we're just trying to show that three three points are collinear. So if we can show that these three points are on the same line, then that would mean that the line through C and C prime goes through P. So that's what we're trying to show is that these three points are collinear. And recall, that's really the conclusion of Des Argues theorem. You have two triangles perspective from a point, then you get three points, and you conclude that these three points are collinear. So what we want is for these three points to be the three points that arise when you look at two triangles somewhere in this picture, and you extend the sides and see where, what points you get that we usually call P, Q, and R. That, that those points in this case are going to be P, C, and C prime. So we want those three points to be P, C, and C prime that we use in Des Argues theorem to say that they're collinear. So we have to find two triangles in this picture that does that for us. But this isn't too bad. We look at the point P. We want two sides to inter extend and intersect at P. Well, there's not too much choice here for looking at this picture. We have this line goes through P and this line goes through P. We can't use this because we don't know they're collinear yet. So all we have is these two lines to look at. If I don't want to use P itself, it looks like A prime A is going to be one side and 
B and B prime is going to be another side. We extend those, they intersect at P. So for one triangle, I'm going to want to use A and A prime in some order, and the other one I'm going to want to use B and B prime in some order. So I don't know what the third point is yet, but I have these two sides, this one and this one for the other one. Again, I want another point here in a second, but starting out with these two points, I know if I, I, I extend the side A, A prime and the side B prime B, that they're going to intersect at P. So that's a good start. Now, if I want to do the same thing with C with two sides, then the triangle that has A in it, I should use the side ZA for the other triangle, another side, and that would go through C. And if I look at this one, this also goes through C, and that's the triangle with B in it, I want to use X, okay? So the side BX will also go through C. So if I put an X here and a Z here, we see that AZ will go through C, and bx will go through c so that'll give us another point that we want except there's a little bit of a catch here this is sort of like similar triangles you want the corresponding parts to work correctly here if i put a z here and an x here then it's a z that goes through c and b prime x does not so i need that's not working for me so the thing to do is just to switch these two around say so if I switch these two around, I still have A, A prime and B, B prime going through P. And then I can put a Z here and A, Z and B, X will go through C. So let me put those in there. So that seems to be working for us. If I use A, A prime and B, B prime, those two sides and extend them, they go through P. If I use A, Z and that's coming from here, and the BX, they're going to intersect at C. And let's just make sure the last sides here, A prime Z and B prime X, also go through C prime here to show these three are collinear. So A prime Z, so we have A prime Z, that goes through C prime, and B prime X goes through C prime. So if I extend the sides, A, A prime, B, B prime, it goes through P. If I extend the side AZ and BX, they go through C. And if I extend the sides B, A prime Z and the side B prime X here, they both go through C prime. So if these two triangles are perspective from a point, we can conclude from Desargues' theorem that the points P, C, and C prime are all collinear. That's what Desargues' theorem would say if these were perspective from a point. So we just want to verify their perspective from a point. So what do we do to get the point the perspective from? We look at the line through A, B, through A and B here. And let's see, the line through A and B. That goes through Y. So the other point goes through. How about A prime, B prime? A prime, B prime also goes through Y. And ZX. ZX also goes through Y. If we take a line through the first points here, A and B, the corresponding points on these triangles, uh, that the line through those two will go through Y. If I take the line through A prime and B prime, that will go through Y. And if I take the line through Z and X, that will go through Y. And so these two triangles are, in fact, perspective from the point Y. So Y is what goes down here at the bottom. And so we get the perspective from the point Y, which again means by Desargues' theorem that the perspective from a line, and that line you would get again is the line going through P, C, and C prime. And so that would mean that these three points, P, C, and C prime are on the same line. And so then that would give you that if, if you look at the line through C and C prime, that that goes through P. And that's what we wanted. We wanted to show the line through C and C prime goes through P, and it does. So again, this is a way to prove the dual of Desargues' theorem using Desargues' theorem. So we use Desargues' theorem, that's what the, this, these boxes were down here. Um, we use Desargues' theorem to, to conclude that these three points are collinear, so the line through C and C prime goes through P. That finishes this problem.
Next problem is similar. It's not really the dual of Dave's arg theorem, but you want to sort of do the same type of argument. So let me go ahead and, and again, rather than reading this, I'm gonna slowly, in this case, explain the problem as we go along here. So we start out with a picture like this, and let me tell you what's going on in this picture. In the end, we want to show M, N, and K are collinear. That's the goal. But let's look at what we have. We're given that triangle ABC is an arbitrary triangle, and U and V are points, and we want to make sure U does not equal B and V does not equal A. And the reason is I want to get this D where the lines A, B, and B, U intersect. In fact, that's the next thing we want to do. So D is going to be the intersection of these two lines. Okay. So I'm just calling that D. And now I'm gonna suppose D doesn't equal C. That was the, the triangle that was given to us, this other, the other vertex. And then I'm gonna let L be the line through C and D. Now I didn't write, draw L down here. I didn't write the letter L, but that's a line through C and D. Notice that A, B, and U, V, I'm calling that intersection point K. And the line through U that's parallel to this L, this C, D here, and the line B, C intersect at M. So this line is parallel to L, and I'm making it intersect B, C at M. And similarly now, even though you can't see this point V down here, visible. This V, I'm going to draw a line parallel to L, so that's this line, parallel to CD, and that intersects AC at N. So that gives me all the points, and again, what I'm trying to show is that K, M, and N, in any order, they're collinear. So I want to show that these three points are collinear. And the question is, how do we do that? So like the dual of des Zargs, we want to find two triangles here that are perspective from a, a point and then use that to say that these three points are collinear. So this should be the, the line they're perspective from. So one of these triangles is going to be ABC. AB goes through K, BC goes through M here, and AC goes through N. So we have these three edges that could be used that go through the points K, M, and N. But the question is, where's the other triangle? So I want M to be the intersection of B, C, and some side of the other triangle. Well, we've used this edge. The only other edge to use is this, but it's not clear how that's gonna be helpful. There's only one other vertex on here. That's the U. So let's, let's just keep this one in mind. We want this to be an edge that intersects with B, C to get M. Let's look at, at this one. AC goes through N. We want a, another edge that goes through N from a different triangle. And the only other thing we have here is this, this line, which is parallel to CD. And it's not exactly giving me another vertex other than V here. Oh, wait, there is another vertex going through this line and this line. It's just not in the picture. These two lines, they're parallel, uh, they're parallel with this line. All three of these parallel lines intersect at a point at infinity. So let's imagine that point at infinity is called X. We haven't used X in this picture yet. Then if I look at the triangle going through X where these two intersect, and this one as well, um, I'm gonna have a triangle with a vertex X, U, and then I can take V. And the line through U and X, well, U, M went through X. So the line through U and X goes through M. The line through V here and X, that's this line, this went through X, that also goes through M. So this triangle, which includes a point at infinity that involves the vertices U, V, and X, has an edge that goes through M and another edge that goes through N. So if I extend AC, I'll go through N here, BC goes through M, and they have those intersection points in common. And what about AB? AB goes through K. Well, UV will be an edge 
on this other triangle we're talking about, the one with uv and x, and that goes through k. So we have the, the vertices of the new triangle. We want, we want x, this point of infinity, where these parallel lines intersect, to be one of the vertices of our triangle, as well as u and v. You have to get them in the right order to make things line up correctly, again, like with similar triangles. But let me go ahead and, and do what I discovered here with, the, with the lining these up correctly. So let's check a, b, and b, u. a, b goes through k, and the line through v and u goes through k as well. Okay. So these, these when I extend these sides, they go through k. And b, c, and u, x, b, c, and u again, and x is going to go through m. That's correct. And a, c, and v, x. So I look at uh, a, c, and v, x will go through n. So vx goes through n as well. So we do have that if I extend the sides of these and corresponding sides, I'm going to go ahead and get the points m, n, and k in some order. So that's going to give me that those three points are collinear by Desargues' theorem if the two triangles are perspective from a point. Well, I claim the perspective from the point d. Let's just check that. Again, for this, we take the first vertices, a, v. That goes through D. And then we look at the line through the second vertices, B and U. That goes through D. And then we go look at the line through the third set of vertices here, C and X. Well, this was the point of infinity, but that was the point where all the lines are parallel. So all these lines go through the same point X there. This line went through X as well because it's parallel to these. So yes, the line through C and X is going to go through D. So we do have the perspective from D. And so since the perspective from a point, that means they have to be perspective from a line. And again, if you look at what that means, that means that M, N, and K are collinear like we want. So the argument is really just to observe that the two, these two triangles are perspective from D. And that means that K, M, and N are collinear by days R extent. So that finishes this problem, and that finishes this lecture.